A brand new head coach means a lot of new things, new schemes, new ideas, a new staff, which means that the old staff typically won't be with us any longer. With Coach Freeze Cleaning House, let's talk about those individuals that won't be part of the new coaching staff for him and those that might even have an opportunity to stay. But before we do that, we always wanna remind you to make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed this type of content and be sure to leave a comment as you're watching and listening below in the comment section. Even try to answer that question that we have pinned down there for you. And we always wanna take this opportunity to thank members of our booster club like Thomas Manville, who helped produce videos like this. So this video is gonna be mainly about walking through the current coaching staff that's listed on Auburn's website that as of doing this video has yet to change. We're operating off of reports, not official confirmations that these coaches have been let go or retained for some of them. So that's how we're gonna manage this. And obviously we're not gonna be covering the ones that have already long gone when coach Brian Parson was fired strictly about the guys who finished out the 2022 season. Let's start off right at the top with one of our co-OCs and offensive line coach, Will Friend. This is a guy that a lot of fans did not have fond feelings toward because of a lack of offensive line recruiting that had come in yet and some other reasons. But you got to admit that the way that the offense under his tutelage and his partner at the co-OC position got going, you got to have some fond feelings, at least how he ended his time with the Tigers. So he will not be going forward. I think that's probably one that's mixed, you know, has mixed emotions from fans. Let's talk about his partner, co-OC and wide receiver coach, Ike Hilliard. I don't think you're going to find really anyone that is not upset about not having this guy coming along for the ride for the next staff. This is a guy that not only fans liked, but the players really liked as well. Saw a lot of players expressing their disappointment and sadness that he won't be working with them going forward, but you have to still commend him and Will Friend for the job that they did as co-OCs together. We already talked about the OCs. Let's talk about that DC or former DC. Jeff Schmetting will not be part of the staff going forward. One of the last Boise boys, as people call them, since he had some stronger connections than most to Brian Harson. But if you look at his resume, he was probably the least connected of the Boise boys. He also, I thought, did a pretty good job as the season progressed in terms of having a defense that kept us in games that probably shouldn't have been in. So this is another one that I hope fans don't really, you know, are glad that he's gone. I think this is one of those guys that you probably not maybe necessarily wanted to see stay around, but you're at least kind of like, we're appreciative of what he did. Since we've already gotten rid of the OCs and the DC, you got to talk about your special teams now. Rock Bellatoni, special teams coordinator and edge rushing uh, position coach will not be part of the staff going forward. I really like this guy for whatever reason. I never met him personally, but just, you know, being at Tiger Walk and Reverse Tiger Walk and other events, really liked the way he carried himself. Social media, personally, I, I, I just like the guy. He was promoted up during this last season by coach Brian Harson into the role that he currently holds. And I thought that, you know, overall, you, you probably were very happy with the edge position and special teams had some good moments and some low moments as well. Another one that I'm probably just, I wish we could have found a way to make it work out, but you understand why the changes had to be made. If you want to talk about disappointments, this is probably the one that a lot of Auburn fans are universally disappointed about. Defensive line coach Jimmy Brumbaugh. The defensive line had a pretty solid year. Not outstanding at times, but really solid. But here's the thing. He's a former Auburn guy. And you hate to see Auburn guys let go and not be part of the next staff. It's the sentimental, the emotional part of the thing. And it just sucks sometimes. So I hate that that's not going to happen for him. But it sounds like from rumors out there, maybe even confirmed by now, if you're watching this in the future, that we already have our defensive line coach in the bag. So those are the last of the original staff from Coach Brian Harson that are no longer going to be part of the next staff. Let's talk about two guys that apparently are going to be retained, if not already confirmed. Zach Etheridge, defensive back coach, and at the time was the associate head coach position as well. Typically, you don't have two of those since Carnell is that now, along with being the running back coach, the only confirmed position kept at this point of this video. But it'll be interesting to see what they do with Zach, assuming they continue to keep him on staff. The other one would be linebackers coach Christian Robinson. Another one that I thought probably no one had any problems with, but one of the ones that I don't know that a lot of people were expecting to be kept on this staff going forward. Linebackers had a pretty decent year overall, 
I'm just happy to see that we're keeping some continuity on the defensive side of the ball for these guys to continue to connect to as we move forward with the new staff. And finally, very briefly, three coaches to keep in mind that, frankly, we don't know anything about what's going to happen with them because they were promoted just to fill roles that were missing from when Brian Harson and some of his staff were let go at the midpoint of the season. You got Kendall Simmons as the offensive line coach, Mike Hartline as the QB coach, and you got Joe Bernardi at tight ends coach. Mike Hartline supposedly already has a job somewhere else, so that one's not going to really be an issue. The other two, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So that's our breakdown of the new staff adjustments that are being made, those that have been let go and those that are going to be retained. And the big news that we'll be talking about next is the official new coaches that'll be coming. More on that in the future. In the meantime, in the comments section below, would love to know from you of the guys that we know are not going to be here going forward. Let me know which one of those you are most disappointed won't be continuing with the Tigers. And while you're commenting below, be sure to be subscribed if you're not, because that's part two of the process to be in our subscriber giveaway that we have going on right now for a signed Auburn football prize package. Make sure you do that so you can enter yourself into this competition. As always, smash the like button if you enjoyed this content and check out other links in the description for ways that you can help support our content here at E2C Network, where we share the whole Auburn experience. War Eagle. Thank you.